Hey, everybody. So I got a therapist. <laughs> um, I realized about a month ago that I was very depressed and all of the waking up in the morning and choosing joy was not cutting it for me anymore. Um, mindset is super important, but there comes this tipping point when you have chemical imbalances in your brain that you may need professional help. And so I reached out and I got a therapist and um, like I, we have sessions online now. And the first thing that he did was he screened me for anxiety and depression. There is a screening tool um, that healthcare providers universally use to determine whether you have anxiety and depression. And it kind of cracked me up when, because my background is healthcare. So I know what the questions of that, that tool, those tools are. And so when he started asking them, you know, they're like, Oh, we're going to ask you some questions. You're like, okay. And then it's like, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, Oh, that's the depression screening. Oh, that's the anxiety screening. Um, but it made me realize nobody had screened me for anxiety and depression in like at least three years. And you are supposed to get, not just people with Parkinson's, everyone is supposed to get screened for anxiety and depression at their annual visit with their primary care physician, regardless. And I literally just saw my primary care physician and I did not get screened for anxiety and depression at that visit. And on top of it, our neurologists, our movement disorder specialists, and our general neurologists, according to the American Academy of Neurology, it are supposed to screen us at least uh, yearly for anxiety and depression too. And they don't. I've never had a neurologist screen me for that, ever. Um, and that's a big problem because we know that anxiety and depression are symptoms of Parkinson's disease. So I implore you guys, please... The next time you see your doctor, whether it be your primary care or your neurologist, ask for them to screen you for anxiety and depression. What you do with that information is between you and your doctor. But at the bare minimum, we need to at least get screened. And it was shocking to me because... If ever there was a test that I didn't want to get all the questions right on, it was that anxiety and depression screening. But, you know, I got an A plus check, check on all of them. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I just I just didn't realize it. You know, I I knew that I was not feeling right. I was um, sleeping too much. I had stopped keeping up with my personal hygiene. Like when a girly's hair starts to get greasy, that's a red flag. <laughs> um, and like the the just the crying jags for no reason, uh, loss of appetite. Like I I'm not a doctor. I'm just telling you. Like I've had depression before, and so I know what that looks like for me. And um, we need to keep an eye on that. And and when when I say, like, yes, wake up every morning and choose joy, yes, we power through, but there is nothing wrong with getting professional help, and if you need medication to stabilize your mood, don't be ashamed or afraid to get it and take it just like any other medication, because there's a lot of different chemicals <laughs> going on up here. The serotonin pathways are impacted by Parkinson's as well. So um, as my friend Melissa loves to say, honey, sometimes it's not you. It's just the chemicals. I hope this helps.